Assalamu alaikum students, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to your online video class. I hope you all are well. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sharmin Rahman from Standard Six, Campus One, your English language teacher. Talk about uh, present perfect progressive tense, which is also known as present perfect continuous tense. So before starting, I would like to give you the definition of this tense. So the basic thing is that this tense is used to express an action that started in the past and continued to present or just stopped. That means uh, this tense is going to be connected with two tenses that means past and present. So the action uh, which is going to take part in the sentence is uh, started in the past and it is continuing to present or just stop and the result will be uh, important and you can see the result in the sentence. So to make the present uh, perfect continuous tense or present perfect progressive tense you need a structure and the structure is given below. As you can see on the screen first of all we will add a subject and based on subject we will add have or has and then we will add been here and been is the past participle form of be. So, and then we will add verb uh, in the base form and we will add ing with the verb and uh, rest of the sentence. So, here is the, uh, some of the examples given below. Uh, I have been eating the pizza. I have been eating the pizza. That means you are still eating the pizza. You started in the past but you are still eating it which is a continuous or progressive manner. So, that's why I have been eating the pizza. Next example, you have been playing for one hour. So that means in this sentence, you have been playing, you're still playing in the continuous term. So you started the past, but you're still continuing it. Next, the last one is he has been studying since nine o'clock. He has been studying since nine o'clock. So here you can see easily that uh, this tense is uh, basically on terms of uh, time. That means there is a time which will tell you that when it started or uh, how how long it is continuing. Okay. So this is the structure and this way you will uh, write the tense. So let's use this tense. So for that, number one, for past actions just stop. That means uh, those actions which started the past and recently it stopped. Example. I am tired because I have been running. So I am tired because I have been running. You started running in the past uh, and you are still continuing it. That's why you are tired. That's why you are tired. That means uh, you stopped running so uh, recently. So for past action just stop that time you will you will use this tense. Next for past actions continuing now that means an unfinished work which started at the past and you are still doing it that time you will use present perfect progressive tense example i have been reading for two hours that means you started reading before two hours and you are still continuing it that's why you are going to use this tense we have the present perfect progressive into negative tense that means if we get a positive uh, sentence in present per perfect progressive, if we make it negative, how will it look like? So the structure is given below, subject plus have or has plus not. We will add not after this auxiliary verb or helping verb. And then we will add the be uh, past form, uh, past participle form of be, which is been and then verb plus ing. So see the example, here is the table given below for different subjects. For first party, as you can see, I, you, we, or they, there we uh, we will add have. And with have, we will say negative. So that's why we are adding not. So haven't or have not. Then an auxiliary part, we can see auxiliary in be, uh, which is a past participle form, which is been. So I haven't been, play becomes playing tennis. Next one, he or she or it hasn't been learning French or has not been learning French. Now we have for and since with present perfect continuous. So as I said that this tense 
take time as an important aspect we are going to learn that when to use for and when to use since so in for side as you can see uh, some examples are given and in since side as you can see there's a lot of uh, examples are given you can see that in for side these are a period of time which is given like 30 minutes for day four days three minutes two years three centuries ages ever and in since side it is given the point in the past time that means a point exact point where it started like 10 a.m friday march 2010 uh, 1700 I left school the beginning of the time so there's some example given here as you can see look at this example and sentences using for and since with the present perfect continuous tense example I have been studying for three hours so for three hours which is a period of time that's why we are using for I have been watching TV for uh, since 7 p.m. Tara hasn't been feeling well for two weeks. Tara hasn't been visiting us since March. He has been playing football for a long time. He has been living in Bangkok since he left school. So these are some examples by which you can easily notice that where to use for and where to use since. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you could be benefited. Thank you.